Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another radio video. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on the do-it-yourself hula hoop loop antenna that I uh, recently built from um, picking up. Uh, I found a hula, hula hoop in the trash. Anyway, real quick, I'm just going to show you the... Uh, up there is the uh, MFJ1886 active uh, receive active loop antenna and of course over there is the disco Jetstream JTD2 and you can see all the way over there I have to zoom in I don't know how well it's gonna do yeah there you go that is the uh, mini whip okay and the end fed I since then removed it we really have no need for the infed right now. And of course, this guy. Let me walk down here. And um, I'm sorry for the yell. Uh, just want to be. Anyway, I did some uh, adjustments to it. Um, one particular viewer, his name is Brian. He sent me a couple of emails. And he really, you know, Explained to me about uh, his own experiences with building loops and antenna, and I appreciated it. It was some good ideas, and um, I mentioned in the video when I made this loop, um, a lot of people were saying, "Yeah, uh, we need a var variable capacitor. You put too many turns for short wave." Um, if you watch the video, I really made it clear that I was gonna be more of a broadband antenna. It didn't want to be specific on like if it wanted to be lower like low, low um long wave or medium wave yeah but i wanted to be a little broader than that that's why i didn't want to put uh i bought a variable capacitor but i didn't want that because this is one gonna bound up being on the roof so it's no this defeats the purpose of having a capacitor a variable capacitor when i'm gonna do in two ends i wanted a broadband that was the purpose of this um Antenna. Anyway, I bought a couple of these. These are binding posts, BNC. Um, you can stick the wires in here. It also has a banana plug. I did a. Uh, oh, the sun is really bright. Yeah, the sun is really bright. It's a nice day out here to pick up loop. Sorry for all the moving around. It's really bright. And. Binding post and of course BNC. This is um 75 feet. It's going into the basement. And the ballon. Um, I was you know, people told me I should have not used the ballon, and some people actually told me that it works as a choke, which is which it is that. So I tried it both ways, I disconnected it, tried it without it. It didn't make much of a difference. Except that I noticed in the ballon it was a little cleaner and quieter. So it acts as a choke. I know I'm gonna hear the uh, you know the geniuses and so on, but yeah, it's working. As you saw several videos already on shortwave, it's working. You know, it's working actually pretty good on shortwave. I'm surprised. So there you go, and I have it again, umbrella stand. I just have the rock salt on top of it because it's very windy today and. You know, I don't want this thing to knock it over. It's kind of floppy. You see, it's very, <laughs> it's windy out here today. So I'm gonna play around with it for tonight. I'm gonna have it out here all night, and I'm gonna try to tune some medium wave also and see how how well it is outdoors. Right now, it's pointing east to west, east to west. Okay, and again, the um, my loop up there is my son. Here, my son. There is pointing north to south, more or less. So I'm gonna change that soon. That one I would like to have a rotor, but I'll go up there and just change it. And um, I hear my son there. So there you go. Um, like I said, I did buy the. I will show it. I'm, I'm gonna show it, and when, when we go inside, I'm gonna show the. Uh, it's a 365 pico ferret. Yeah, pico ferret. Or pico ferret. Okay, whatever. Um, very capacitor and I even bought a little knob for it and I'm gonna save that for another project 
And that one is going to be more for long wave and medium wave. And so as you can see, it's going all the way down to the basement. And it's really windy out here today, but it's, it's about in the mid 40s. And it's going down to the basement. And you can hear my son. And there goes the loop. And then, then we'll go, the next time we'll be, we'll be inside the house. <laughs> And as you can hear, shortwave, Radio Nacional de España, and of course this is the uh, variable capacitor that I bought from eBay, 365 picofarad, and I picked up this knob, it was like a dollar fifty, and the shipping was like five dollars, so the shipping was more, <laughs> cost more than the actual knob. And I bought it for the same person. And uh, this I paid about, I think it was uh, $12. And so there you go. So that's going to be for another project. I was going to do it for this one. But again, I wanted this one to be, the loop to be a, you know, not, 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 not tuning. Because it's just going to be, for, first of all, it's going to be for receiving. And it's, like I said, uh, wideband. You know, basically uh, shortwave. And I was playing around with it with the other radio, and last night with this radio, and I was doing really, it was picking up really well uh, with that with that loop. That's why I decided to put it outside. And this radio right here, which I haven't made videos on it yet, only reception videos. That is. The only thing with this radio is that it has that 75 ohm uh, F-type connector, and I had to get an adapter. As you can see, sorry about that. As you can see, the lighting here is not that great in here, actually. And uh, and I had to get adapter for it. I don't know. That's one pet peeve about this radio. Why did they decide to make it with that connector? Instead of using something more, uh, you know, B and C. Something more standard than that. Uh, I don't know. It's for another video rant or something. But that's one thing I didn't like about the radio. It's that connector. Uh, anyway, so and of course I got to point the east to west. You know, I, if I, if I want to fine tune it, I can. I can just you know rotate it and all that. But again, it's picking up. You saw a few videos on it with my um, older radio, the uh, World Star MG six thousand, and it was doing pretty well, picking up, really picking up well. In fact, I, that, you know, um, radio is very sensitive. I'm surprised. So, there you go. So, hope you liked the video. And thank you for all the uh, input, especially Brian. Really, thank you for, for um And I will be making other, other, like I said, this one, I just, you know, I found the hula hoop in the trash. And I said, I, rather than walk away, walk by it, and I take it, I said I'm gonna put it, take take it out of the trash. I'm gonna make a loop in tennis, see what happens, and it worked out pretty well. I mean, you know, first time, and this all, that's what it's all about. It's all about you know, yes, uh, you know, theory and and you know, proven science and all that. I get all that. I get all that. Trust me, I do. Okay, but um, also you gotta have fun, have fun with experimenting. And see what works. And sometimes, you know, things, even things, you know, again, it's a lot of theory. So I know I'm going to have this, those uh, going to come and say, well, you should have done less less turns. And I get all that. I understand all that. But again, something I'm playing around with is to have fun, chill out, enjoy, enjoy your hobby. Okay. And like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And with that, I'll say uh, see you in the next video, which I'm going to talk about uh, eBay purchase. It's coming up right after this video. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.